Rookery Bay. Ancient. Timeless. A sanctuary for wildlife and for people. The Rookery Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve encompasses one of the nation's last remaining undisturbed estuaries, located near the western edge of the Everglades in southwest Florida. Estuaries are among the most productive ecosystems on the planet. Here, mangrove trees spread their prop roots into shallow waters, constantly dropping their leaves. This organic debris provides a steady supply of nutrients that fuels life in the bay. The Rookery Bay Estuary provides a nursery for a wide variety of birds and marine life. Many species of shrimp, crab, and fish start their lives here. They in turn serve as an abundant food source for higher level predators, including game fish, birds, and people. So it's, um, it's a, lot, a lot of words, but what it is, really great for people, but it's normally very, very harmful for wildlife. Healthy estuaries like Rookery Bay generate millions of dollars for local communities through boating, fishing, and tourism. Rookery Bay Reserve is a sanctuary for a productive and diverse community of wildlife. Manatees and dolphins feed in the quiet backwaters. Sea turtles and terns nest on barrier island beaches. Orchids and ferns thrive in the tropical hardwood hammocks. People have been a part of this landscape for over 5,000 years. As people make their own personal connections to the bay, increased awareness can lead to a sense of caring and stewardship. People continue to be drawn to this special place. Rookery Bay was designated a National Estuarine Research Reserve over 25 years ago. Since then, the reserve's boundaries have expanded to 110,000 acres, from Naples south through the 10,000 islands. He'll help him go back over using his tail, yes? Yeah. yeah. What would he sense? Like, would he sense darkness? The reserve staff is actively involved in research, resource management, and education to promote informed stewardship of Rookery Bay. Look, you caught it. Oh my gosh. The challenges ahead are great as more people move to Southwest Florida. Future decisions on how we manage this growth will have a profound effect on coastal resources.
Southwest Florida is a unique environment in all of North America because primarily the vast amount of mangrove and mangrove island land, all of which is protected now. Being adjacent to the Everglades, it forms a very important part of the, the marine ecosystem, the near shore environment. And of course, the productivity there is fantastic. It's just a fabulous place for a naturalist to spend some time. Southern Florida would have been erased from the map had it not been for mangroves. These are investments. There is no better bank account than the natural bank account that we all depend on for our daily lives, whether it's going to the supermarket or going out fishing. To me, the mangroves are very fascinating. Being from California, you don't see trees growing in salt water. I have a ball photographing them. They're, to me, they're sculptures, uh, ever-ending shapes and forms. I am always love to walk under them and photograph inside of them. As you begin your exploration of Rookery Bay, think about three things. Explore with your senses. Use sight, sound, and touch to create your own connection to this special place. Enjoy Rookery Bay. Discover new ways to learn through nature, science, the arts, and recreation. Finally, learn how to protect our estuaries. Rookery Bay belongs to you and to future generations. difference in preserving this treasure for years to come. <laughs>